In Britain, we don't elect our head of state, or for that matter, our second chamber, the House of Lords. Britain is a monarchy, and the ministers sometimes meet the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh, and when we do, uh, get some insight into what they really think. One occasion was in 1968, when I found myself sitting next to the Duke at a lunch. Friday the 23rd of February, um, up very early and by helicopter to Winfrith for the opening of the steam generating heavy water reactor. And I found myself sitting next to the Duke of Edinburgh at lunch and we fell to talking about various things. Uh, we began by talking about Europe and it was very evident that he was not a keen European and thought that uh, British opinion would uh, be opposed to our joining Europe. Uh, now that the opportunity had passed. I explained that I really would be a Federalist. This worried him enormously, uh, no doubt because the royal family wouldn't have much of a place in a federal Europe. Then we talked a little bit about the institution of government, and he said he thought there should be a much smaller cabinet. And um, on the whole, his views about the structure of government were quite sensible. So then I switched over to the monarchy, and I asked him how, I th how he thought the monarchy would work over the next 25 years. He said he thought the first thing to do was to get rid entirely of the Commonwealth angle, by which he meant uh, the Queen being Queen of Canada, as well as Queen of Britain. He said they don't want us, and they'll have to be a republic or something. Next, he wanted to try and um, uh, connect the monarchy more directly with ministers and thought the prime minister's audience with the queen should broaden out to include other ministers so they could explain things to her. I said I didn't think that would help at all, as uh, when this government got uh, even less popular, it would just involve the monarchy with us. And he said, well, he wasn't thinking of the monarchy, but of the national interest, and uh, that if the monarchy didn't meet the national interest, he would opt out altogether. Quite what he meant by that, I don't know. Then he said he thought that the ombudsman ought to have been put in the royal household in order to make the monarchy seem closer to the people. And I said I thought this was absolute nonsense. But it was altogether quite an interesting discussion. He is a thoughtful and intelligent person. It was the first time I'd ha had a proper talk with him, and I must say I behaved with perfect naturalness, just as if he was a, a um, Tory MP, which is just about what he is. 